A couple of years ago, I got a phone call on a Friday afternoon from my mom that my dad had become very quickly and, and, and very unexpectedly uh, sick. He became confused, uh, wasn't responding anymore. So my mom called and she was rushing him to the hospital. As he headed to the hospital, he was heading to what is probably the most dangerous place in the world for a human being, an American hospital. 40 to 50 million people in the world every year are injured due to medical care. And in the U.S., what that means is that when somebody walks into a hospital, their chances of being injured or killed from the medical care that is intended to help them may be as high as 15 or 20 percent. What are the kinds of things that happen to patients in the hospital? Well, patients sometimes will go in for a hip replacement and they'll develop an infection. We know that medication errors are common. People often get the wrong medication. They often get the wrong dose. They sometimes get the medication that's intended for the patient down the hall. And so in my dad's example, he got to the hospital. The good news was by the time he arrived in the hospital, he was starting to do better. But in the two days that he spent in the hospital, uh, there were a series of errors. He was given the wrong medication. They did the wrong tests that failed to diagnose his underlying problem. Um, a series of mistakes, which when I tell the stories to my colleagues, they shrug and they say, but that happens all the time. So at the end of the day, poor performing health systems represent a major problem uh, for the world's population. Uh, but the good news is that there are opportunities for improvement. That's why I am so excited to be at the Harvard School of Public Health. We're working on a series of initiatives to try to understand why those errors occur, and then ultimately, what do we do to fix it? And what we need is to learn new ways of doing things and understand how we can change the healthcare delivery system so everybody gets care that's safe, effective, reliable, and maximizes the chances that it's gonna to lead to better health.